Now, on Good Morning Northwest, the migrant crisis and a broken system. President Biden visits the southern border and Mexico. What happens now? Slick roads for your morning commute, plus more rain is on the way. A closer look at the week ahead coming up. And an arrest in the four University of Idaho murders. What it's like on campus now as students return for a new semester. You're watching Good Morning Northwest here on 4 News Now. Good morning and thanks for starting your week with us. I'm Derek Dice. And I'm Robin Nance. It is Monday, January 9th. Emily Bloom is in for Mark Peterson. She has a look at that first alert forecast for this Monday. Yeah, you are going to want to give yourself a little bit of extra time as you're heading out the door this morning. Taking a look at our live conditions across the region through Coeur d'Alene and Spokane. You can see that area of dense fog, uh, particularly here in Spokane. Hard to even see the arena at this moment. Uh, temperatures in the upper 20s and lower 30s all across the region. Our road temperatures, a little bit of a different story. They are in the mid 20s. All of the rain that we had over the weekend creating those wet roads. Heading into the overnight hours, these cooler temperatures creating some spot areas of ice accumulation. So you're going to notice it as you're heading out to the car and particularly into work this morning. Morning drive uh, by 8 a.m. We're up to 30 degrees, 32 by 9 a.m. And you can see uh, some of that sunshine peeking through as well. Uh, by this afternoon, we're up into those upper 30s and lower 40s and those temps giving you a look at what you can expect for the entire week ahead. We'll take a closer look in just a bit. All right, Emily, thank you. We're following some breaking news out of North Central Washington. Civil authorities issued a shelter in place warning late yesterday evening for an ammonia leak in Okanagan County. Now that warning has now been lifted. Residents were asked to close all doors, windows and vents and told not to go outside while the leak was being contained. Exposure to high concentrations of ammonia can cause immediate irritation to eyes, nose, throat and lungs. The alert for Okanagan and Washington lasted through 11 last night. We don't know what caused this leak at this time. We will keep you updated as we learn more right here and on KXLY.com. The Shoshone County Sheriff's Office is investigating three separate deaths that happened on Saturday. Deputies found an elderly woman dead in her home in the Big Creek area. Then an unidentified person was found dead in a camper which caught fire in the Kingston area. And later, an adult man was found dead in rugged terrain southeast of Smelterville following a welfare check. Sheriff's deputy spent nine hours hiking in and out of that area before the person was found. No names have been released yet in any of these cases. This morning, President Biden is in Mexico City, where he will take part in the North American Leader Summit. He's expected to discuss immigration matters with the leaders of Mexico and Canada. This comes as the administration wrestles with a constant influx of migrants, which is overwhelming the federal and local resources. We are dealing within a broken immigration system that Congress has failed to repair for decades and there is unanimity with respect to that reality. Homeland Security officials say the number of migrants trying to get into the U.S. has gone from 2,500 a day in December to fewer than 700. But members of both parties say this is a problem that needs to be dealt with sooner rather than later. A bipartisan group of eight senators are visiting the southern border today and tomorrow to have a firsthand view of the situation. For nearly two months, the murders of four University of Idaho students put an emotional strain on students. Well, now they are returning to the campus for the first time since police made an arrest. Yeah, with a suspect in custody, there is a sense of relief on campus as students move back into their dorms and apartments to get ready for the first week of classes after winter break. Our Peter Choi spoke to some of those students. Feeling relieved after seeing Brian Koberger arrested is what many University of Idaho students who are returning to campus after Christmas break tell me today. And they say they're confident with the police investigation and feel much safer being back on campus. It was a quiet and peaceful moving day on University of Idaho campus where many students and parents busy unloading belongings from cars. It's a shock um, that some, some, somebody could do something like that did live 20 minutes away. One of the students, a sophomore Ryder Pasley, says hearing the news about Brian Kohlberger behind bars was a huge relief for him and his family. When I heard the news, I was sitting around the, um, the literal, uh, I sit around the living room with my family um, watching the report about it. And I, we all kind of looked at each other and were like, well, uh, they, they got somebody who they think did it. And I, I breathe a sigh of relief. I'm pretty sure that my mom did the same thing. He says many of classmates came back to campus this semester. It definitely seems like a different place. The safety remains top priority this year for him. I'm hanging out with some more people, definitely staying in groups. 
As the murder investigation continues, students and parents say they trust school security measures for students. Um, walking around this morning, I have my dogs with me. I took them on a walk. And um, there is security a lot of places. So I felt comfortable just walking around here. I'm pretty sure that the, the university would not try and endanger its students. I'm pretty sure that the police are looking out to for us, at least in this case, with the best that they can. Um, I'm pretty sure that everybody is doing their best to be able to keep us safe. Spring classes are set to begin on Wednesday with the excitement of returning to normality. More like, oh, there's a resolution to this. We, we, get, a, we get an end to the whole story. In Moscow tonight, Peter Choi, 4 News Now. Now, the house where those murders took place will remain a crime scene for now. The house was set to be cleaned more than a week ago, but that process was abruptly stopped just as news broke that Brian Koberger was being arrested more than 2,500 miles away. It was stopped because the public defender filed a motion to preserve the crime scene and evidence until February. All right, the Seahawks are heading to the playoffs thanks to a thrilling win over the Rams and a little help from the Lions. Geno Smith with this 36-yard touchdown strike to Tyler Lockett as Seattle ties it at 13 in the third. J <coughs> Excuse me, Jason Myers with a chance to win it in regulation from 46 yards out, but it doinks off the upright. He can't ah. believe it, and we're heading to overtime. In OT, Baker Mayfield going for it all, and he seems to have Van Jefferson wide open, but Quadre Diggs comes out of nowhere for the interception, giving the Seahawks another chance. And this time, Myers doesn't miss, drilling the game-winning 32-yard field goal and a 19-16 win over the Rams. That win, coupled with Detroit's win at Green Bay last night, put Seattle back in the playoffs. They'll visit the 49ers on Saturday afternoon. So a lot of people thanking the Lions for yes. coming through to help send the Seahawks <laughs> back to the playoffs. All right, it's now 6.06. Emily in for Mark this morning and taking a look at what our morning looks like. Yeah, areas of dense fog and like we've all experienced coming in this morning, slick conditions out there as well. So you're going to want to give yourself a little bit of extra time as you are heading out the door. And we have much more rain ahead in the week. We'll look at that coming up. And if you have diet goals for the new year, we're live with a local dietitian talking about why the Mediterranean diet might be the best one for you. And a Virginia teacher was shot by a six-year-old. Up next, her condition and the questions police want answered. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now. Expect more on air, online, and on the app. Coming in three days, it's the National RV Show at the Convention Center downtown. There'll be amazing RV discounts and a huge selection of units for a variety of traveling experiences. And now for the first time featuring tiny homes, tons of vendors, and free admission. It's the National RV Show the 12th through the 16th. Pure Filtration Products is your Inland Northwest indoor air quality specialist. With a 12,000 square foot warehouse of filters, you are sure to find what you need for your commercial, industrial, or manufacturing needs. I recommend working with PFP because they have the product that I need. PFP's high quality products products can assist in eliminating airborne contaminants. PFP can size UV light to your system to disinfect the air to keep it clean and safe. I recommend PFP because of their service, the quality of their product, and I'll keep coming back. Call or come in and talk to one of our certified air filtration specialists. For over 25 years, Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls has been your choice for the best in floor covering for your home or business. Flooring choices can be overwhelming. At Fairway Floor, our professional design staff simplifies the process by working with you to make your dream a reality. From remodels to new construction, let Fairway Floor help you. Dream it. Design it. Live it. Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet, North Idaho's premier flooring store. Come in and see it for yourself. Country Homes Power, Spokane's number one source for quality hot tubs and swim spas, has truckloads arriving from the top American-made spa manufacturers just in time for spring. Now is the time to reserve your new hot tub or swim spa. Get to Country Homes Power today. I'm Howie Mandel, and I'm hosting The Kelly Clarkson Show. Be doing some stuff. With AGT All-Stars host Terry Crews. That never gets old, buddy. It never gets old. You got talent. <laughs> Watch Kelly today at 4 and 4 News Now at 5. Want a cool new vehicle for the new year? A new style? Tough four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive? With delayed payments until April 1st, then you need to head down to the Cal Superstores in Airway Heights, Coeur d'Alene, and Spokane, where they are offering up to $600 of free upgrades, like truck lifts, white bars, and tires, to customize your new ride. Get your new vehicle this year at Cal. 
coming in three days. It's the National RV Show at the Convention Center downtown. There'll be amazing RV discounts and a huge selection of units for a variety of traveling experiences. And now for the first time featuring tiny homes, tons of vendors, and free admission. It's the National RV Show the 12th through the 16th. All right, welcome back. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. After historic 15 rounds of voting and four days of ballots, the U.S. finally has a new speaker. At early Saturday, Congressman Kevin McCarthy secured enough Republican support to become House Speaker. He received 216 votes with six Republicans voting present. His success led to a standing ovation from fellow GOP lawmakers as well as hugs and requests for him to sign their vote cards. Saturday's vote ends a chaotic week that saw 14 failed attempts to get 218 GOP lawmakers to coalesce around McCarthy's bid for the gavel. With a new speaker now in place, the House can swear in new members, kick off the new Congress, and proceed with its business. The elementary school teacher in Virginia, shot by a six-year-old student, is recovering. Police say Abby Zwerner is listed as stable. She's a first-grade teacher in Newport News. Investigators say the six-year-old shot Zwerner Friday in what police say was an intentional act. The principal says the school will remain closed today and tomorrow to give the community time to heal. Meanwhile, investigators are trying to figure out how a child so young got a gun in the first place and learn how to pull the trigger. For your 10 second takeaway, we are looking at slick roads this morning and some areas of dense fog. You're going to want to give yourself some extra time as you are headed out. And we do have quite a few more chances for rain in the week ahead. We'll take a close look coming up. It's now 611. All right, still to come, there are some frosty, slick roads out there this morning, and we're in for a wet day, as Emily was saying. We'll check our full forecast just ahead. And did you resolve to lose weight or eat healthier this new year? There is one eating plan that could help you. It reigns supreme year after year. Destiny Richards is up next, walking us through it. Those responsible for making our local roads and highways safe for winter travel would like to remind you that snow removal is an important, critical, and precise task. Please give the right away to removal equipment so we can all get where we need to go quickly and safely. Here we grow again. Even more fun is headed to Spokane Tribe Casino. You love Caesar Sportsbook, the grill and bar, and larger variety of games we recently added. Gear up for a new food court, a completely smoke-free gaming area, a state-of-the-art entertainment venue, and more. Things just keep getting better. Get in on the $100,000 giveaway and your chance at the $50,000 grand prize in honor of five great years of Spokane Tribe Casino. You just win here. Weather alert days on 4 News Now. That means weather that could be a threat to your family's safety. The first alert weather team pinpoints the most impactful and dangerous days, warning you early on air and online. Weather alert days, another way we're keeping you safe on 4 News Now. Hey folks, hey folks, Jay Uner here. Northwest Motorsport is celebrating 14 years of trucks, trucks, and more trucks. Come check out what's new at Northwest Motorsport. Northwest Motorsport is the best place to buy hundreds of diesel and four-wheel drives in all makes a model. No bones about it. We also have new inventory every day. Come check out what's new at nwmsrocks.com slash anniversary. Say big on trucks. Trucks and more trucks. And tell them phone sent ya. Are you ready for this? Ready to take chances? Will you push and break your limits? Are you ready to be a legend? Are you ready to fight? To be fearless? Are you made for greatness? This is your moment. Are you ready for this? At Washington Trust Bank, can't is a four-letter word. I think we should hire more people. Doc, I'm late for a meeting. I'm thinking of starting my own practice. Mm, do it. Too much capital. We need a warehouse. I can't imagine how we do that. We should knock that wall down and expand. Do it. There's always another wall beyond the wall. We believe you can do whatever you set your mind to, and we'll help you get there. Washington Trust Bank, privately owned, locally invested. We already know Washington State is dead last, 50th out of 50 states in available housing supply. The good news is, this can be turned around. Here's three common sense reforms we need from legislators. Allow more housing types, like duplexes, triplexes, and condominiums. Increase density near transit centers. Cut through red tape limiting new construction. Join our Welcome Home Coalition. We can act to welcome more families home. Winter weather means hazardous driving conditions. If you must travel, follow these guidelines to keep everyone safe. Slow down and keep a safe following distance. Use traction tires. Give snow and emergency vehicles the right of way. Carry an emergency kit. 
Brought to you by Lakes, Worley, Post Falls, and Eastside Highway Districts. 4 News Now is brought to you by Chewila Casino. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. It is now quarter after six, and here is your live look at this Monday morning where, yep, it's foggy out there. Yeah, it, I didn't get the fog until I got into mm. downtown Spokane this morning. But uh, yeah, we have been talking, Emily, about those slick roads that seem to be everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, both the areas of dense fog and slick surfaces. That's because of all of the rain that we had over the weekend and cooler temperatures tonight is leading to isolated areas of ice accumulation. You're going to want to keep that in mind as you're headed out the door. Now we're going to start the morning off dry, uh, but once we get into this early afternoon, you can see that we have got rain uh, developing across the region beginning here in the Spokane area at about 11 a.m. Uh, potentially some rain snow mix not any kind of uh, snow accumulation for us to be worried about but for some of the northern areas you do have a few more inches of snow headed your way uh, that rain is going to continue through this afternoon and through this evening before clearing out tonight as we take a look at our forecast radar you can see more widespread about 11 a.m. Winthrop OMAC, Republic, and into Colville, you are looking at more snow headed your way. Now we're going to clear it out tonight, and then we've got clear conditions through Tuesday and Wednesday, but then the rain is looking to return Wednesday night into Thursday. Um, so definitely something for us to keep in mind. So we take a look at that forecasted snow. Uh, Winthrop looking at getting up to about two inches of snow. This is by Wednesday morning. Uh, three inches for those of you in OMAC, and about almost an inch and a half for those of you in the Colville area. For tonight, we are going to be down to 31 degrees and cloudy conditions. Those winds coming out of the east, very light for us, light and variable. Uh, lows tonight across the region will be in the upper 20s and lower 30s. 36 will be the overnight low in Grand Coulee, 29 for those of you in St. Mary's. As we take a look at this planning forecast, you can see a little bit of a monotonous pattern here with those temperatures in the upper 30s and lower 40s. And then we've got multiple chances of rain even after Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and into this weekend. Um, but the warmer temperatures, hey, we'll take that. That's the silver lining here, right? Yeah, we yeah. might have that snow Definitely. all melted off sooner rather than later. We definitely could. Okay, mm -hmm. it's about time. <laughs> Emily, thanks so much. If you're looking to change up your eating habits this year, U.S. News & World Report ranks the Mediterranean diet as the best overall diet for 2023. Yeah, this diet earns top marks for a sixth year due to healthiness, safety, ease of following, and promoting a healthy, sustainable lifestyle. Destiny Richards is live with a local dietitian telling us more about the Mediterranean diet. Yeah, if you're interested in pursuing that diet for 2023, we are here this morning with Monica of Eat, Move, Thrive, talking a little bit more about the ease of following it and what goes into it. And we've been making these sweet potato salmon cakes. Tell us about how this um, fits into the Mediterranean diet and overall what that diet consists of. Absolutely. Well, this sweet potato salmon cake really aligns beautifully with the Mediterranean diet because there's a lot of heart healthy fats in here. Mm -hmm. So the salmon provides lots of omega-3 fats, um, as well as some monounsaturated fat coming in from the almond flour with this recipe. So um, it's naturally a very anti-inflammatory recipe, lots of great um, sources of protein and healthy fats. That's so good for the heart health. So mm -hmm. um, a big component of the Mediterranean diet and a big um, claim to fame is the uh, um, amazing effects that it can have on your heart health. So yeah. um, you can't go wrong by eating a diet that is more Mediterranean focused. All right, nice. So lots of different things that go into it. I feel like you were saying it was more of a lifestyle than just doing like a short-term diet for a short-term goal. So definitely a way for people to get a wide range of flavors and, and good things to eat for all meals of the day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this has to go back in the oven, but coming up later, we'll show the final product along with the kale salad and also talk about practical steps to keep and stick to a diet as well. So I'll send it back to you guys for now. I'm just going to make it clear. I would definitely try one of those salmon cakes. I would cakes too. If I'd like the recipe. I want to bring some back here later. All right. Good morning, Northwest. Time is now 619. A big win for the Washington State women as they take care of business against the Huskies. We'll have the highlights. And the Seahawks are heading to the playoffs. Sports director Julian Menenzone shows us how they did it and what's next. That's after the break in sports. Thanks for waking up with Good Morning Northwest on your Monday. Download the 4 News Now app today. Are you looking for a credit card with rewards? Well, we've made it simple. Take advantage of 0% APR on new purchases for your sweet tooth for six months. 
So go on, reward yourself with a Premier Rewards MasterCard from P1FCU. This is the beautiful Nissan Rogue. Check it out. Futuristic front, spacious interior, and a functional rear hatch. But beauty is only part of why we know you'll love this SUV. There's numerous safety features, driving modes for snow, off-road, sport, and even hands-free. Important rear driver assist and automatic braking systems. Plus, lane safety with blind spot detection. The Nissan Rogue is a great SUV, and our friendly dealership is a great place to test drive one. Just off Highway 95, Coeur d'Alene Nissan. Life is full of tough times for all of us. And for those struggling with anxiety, depression, suicidal thoughts, or mental health issues, it can be too much to handle sometimes. Luckily, help and hope are closer than you know. Inland Northwest Behavioral Health provides compassionate inpatient and outpatient care that empowers wellness and inspires hope. Just walk in or call. There's no referral needed. We're here to help. Inland Northwest Behavioral Health. We will get through this. Find out how we can help today. That's good advice. Checkmate. <laughs> Winning requires strategy and precision to anticipate your opponent's every move. If you've been seriously injured, the attorneys you have on your team may be the difference whether you win or lose. Don't leave it to chance. Call us today. We'll review your case for free. Craig Swap and Associates. One call. That's all. Hi, I'm Chris with Clark's Tire and Automotive. Right now is the best time to get your vehicle in to get it checked over. Come on in for a free winter inspection. We're going to check your brakes, shocks, struts, tires, air filter, wiper blades, and your heating and cooling system to make sure you're winter ready. If you can't make it into one of our shops, give us a call. We now have a mobile service. We offer a two-year, 24,000-mile parts and labor warranty. We support our local law enforcement, our schools, our nurses and doctors, and we're here to support you. Come and try us out. We are a friendly neighborhood service repair center. Are you looking for a credit card with rewards? Well, we've made it simple. Take advantage of 0% APR on new purchases for your sweet tooth for six months. So go on, reward yourself with a Premier Rewards MasterCard from P1FCU. Welcome into Morning Sports. I'm Julian Minnesota. This is the mood across the state of Washington right now. The Detroit Lions defeated the Green Bay Packers on Sunday night. That means the Seattle Seahawks are playoff bound. Seattle also had to beat the LA Rams to secure a spot in the postseason, and it wasn't easy. Seattle needed a game-winning field goal from Jason Myers in overtime to take down the defending champion Rams 19 to 16 and clinch that final playoff spot. Seattle will take on the San Francisco 49 in the NFC wildcard round at 1.30 on Saturday afternoon at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Now, according to ESPN's Pete Thamel, Washington State football is finalizing a deal to hire Jeff Schmetting as its new defensive coordinator. Schmetting is a Spokane native and graduated from Eastern Washington, where he spent time as a grad assistant and defensive coordinator. Schmetting helped the Eagles to an FCS championship in 2010. Schmetting also served as the defensive coordinator at Boise State and most recently, Auburn. Washington State women's basketball took care of business against rival Washington 66 to 52 on Sunday. Cougars guard Charlize Ledger Walker scored 22 of her 26 points in the second half to secure the victory. This was Ledger Walker's first game back after missing the previous two due to a personal family issue. Washington State will take on Oregon State on the road at 7 o'clock on Friday. That'll wrap us up for morning sports. Nearly a week after NFL star DeMar Hamlin collapsed in the field in cardiac arrest, the Buffalo Bills returned to the field yesterday to take on the New England Patriots. Since Hamlin's collapse Monday night, the 24-year-old has made a remarkable improvement, and the team paid tribute during yesterday's game. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the details. This morning, growing hope that DeMar Hamlin can be released from the hospital in the coming days after the NFL paid tribute to the Bills player Sunday. Magical. It's a magical game, it's a magical day, and we're here to support our boys. Hamlin's number three on display around the league, and love for DeMar t-shirts seen nearly everywhere. Hamlin needed to be resuscitated on the field after a tackle one week ago tonight. His team, the Bills, took the field yesterday for the first time since his heart attack and scored on the opening kickoff. This is storybook, an opening kickoff return for DeMar Hamlin. Hamlin's teammates emotional after the game. You can't draw that one up, write that one up any better. And I, I was just told it's been three years and three months. <sighs> <laughs> it 
since the last kickoff return. So it's pretty cool. Things like that just, just don't happen, you know, and that just shows you that, that, that God is real. And for that to start that game and like that, we were all like, all right, something is scarily weird. Hamlin flashing his signature heart symbol, watching from his hospital bed. After the Bills win over the Patriots, Hamlin tweeted the message, we all won, along with a link selling t-shirts saying all proceeds will benefit first responders and the Cincinnati hospital where he's recovering. For the situation that happened, it just opened up all of our eyes. Like, it has made me become a better father. It has made me and become a better teammate, a better person. Doctors call Hamlin's recovery remarkable. He's now able to breathe on his own and speak. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. Yeah, so great that mm -hmm. he's doing well. By the way, we want to tell you guys, due to hazardous road conditions caused by freezing rain and fog, the Quincy School District will not have school today. We'll keep you posted if any other mm -hmm. school districts follow suit. It is now 625. A local hospital wants to arm businesses with tools to protect their employees in their homes and in their relationships. We'll explain. Plus, new guidelines for dealing with children and obesity. What the American Academy of Pediatrics says to do for those kids sooner rather than later. Later. And before the break, we'll take a look at what's coming up on GMA starting at 7. In this morning's GMA first look, Michael Strahan one on one with Prince Harry. There's a quote in this book where you refer to your brother as your beloved brother and arch nemesis. In less than 24 hours, the Duke of Sussex pull no punches memoir spare hits bookshelves with excerpts already dominating headlines across the globe. And this morning, every topic is on the table. Is there a part of you that can see you and your family becoming working worlds with the monarchy? I don't think it's ever going to be possible. I don't think that, you know, even if there was an agreement or an arrangement between me and my family, there is that third party that is going to do everything they can to make sure that <laughs> that isn't possible. Not stopping us from actually going back, but making it unsurvivable. And coming up at 7, we'll have much more of Michael Strahan's interview with Prince Harry. With your GMA First Look, I'm Chris Gialetto, ABC News, New York. Moderate to severe eczema. It doesn't care if you have a date, a day off, or a double shift. Make your move and get out in front of eczema with steroid-free Sabinko. Not an injection. Sabinko is a once-daily pill for adults who didn't respond to previous treatments. And it's proven to help provide clearer skin and relieve itch fast. Sabinko continuously treats eczema whether you're flaring or not. Sabinko can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB. Before and during treatment, your doctor should check for infections and do blood tests. Tell your doctor if you've had hepatitis B or C, have flu-like symptoms, or are prone to infections. Do not take with medicines that prevent prevent blood clots, serious, sometimes fatal infections, lymphoma, lung, skin, and other cancers. Serious heart-related events and blood clots can happen. People 50 and older with heart disease risk factors have an increased risk of serious heart-related events or death with JAK inhibitors. It's time to get out in front of eczema. Ask your doctor about Once Daily Sabinko. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Cal Superstore in Airway Heights. Let's wave the flag together. Hello, I'm Mark Peterson with 4 News Now, presenting the Great American Flag Swap. Bring your old tattered flag to any BECU Spokane location on January 13th, and in exchange you'll receive a new American-made flag from Uncle Sam's flag and gift. BECU is proud to be part of the Great American Flag Swap. We're honored to live in a community that supports veterans and military families who sacrifice for the benefit of us all. Visit us in Spokane and see what banking is like when people come first. BECU, not for profit, equals more for people. At Gold Seal Plumbing, we do one thing, and we do it well. We're plumbers. In fact, we're the largest plumbing company in the region, and we're proud to say we've been voted the best plumbing company since 2009. We give you upfront pricing so you know exactly what you'll pay before we start. And we do everything from drain cleaning to trench and sewer repair. So if you want your plumbing done right the first time, call a plumber and call the best. Call Gold Seal Plumbing. We're on our way. You've been hearing about it and now we've got it at Post Falls Volkswagen, the ID4 electric SUV. This SUV has a space warranty technology that buyers want. 
at a price that's competitive. Come into Post Falls Volkswagen and reserve your ID4 electric SUV and we'll fill up your gas tank. It's easy to reserve yours. Come into Post Falls Volkswagen and get started and never feel the pain at the pump again. The ID4 electric SUV, see it and reserve yours today at Post Falls Volkswagen. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. 4 News Now Story Tracker taking a look at the stories people are reading about online this morning. A developing story in Massachusetts. A man is in custody due in court today in connection with his wife's disappearance. Anna Walsh is a mother of three and has not been seen since New Year's Day. Authorities accuse her husband, Brian Walsh, of misleading the investigation into his, dis his wife's disappearance. Investigators also impounded his SUV, only saying, quote, additional facts may or may not be entered into the record when he faces a judge this morning. President Joe Biden is in Mexico City to take part in the North American Leaders Summit. He's expected to discuss immigration matters with the leaders of Mexico and Canada during the event. This comes as the administration wrestles with the constant influx of migrants, which is overwhelming federal and local resources. A bipartisan group of eight senators are visiting the southern border today and tomorrow to get a firsthand view of the situation. Students are returning to the University of Idaho campus for the first time since an arrest was made in the murder of four of their classmates. Students and parents alike say they feel a sense of security now that police have someone in custody. As students unpack personal belongings, the school is also promising new security measures, including more officers on campus and increased police patrols in neighborhoods near the university. One student returning to campus said even with an arrest, he'll stay in groups to prioritize safety. Brian Koberger, the man accused of killing the four students, is due back in court Thursday, where he will enter a plea. Good morning, Northwest. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Derek Dice. It is Monday, January the 9th. Emily Bloom in for Mark Peterson. And Emily, we're dealing with some fog and some slick roads this morning. Yep, areas of dense fog, something to keep in mind as you're heading out the door this morning. We can certainly see that uh, through Coeur d'Alene at the I-90 and Northwest Boulevard. Uh, not much to see out of the sky cam right there. Visibility across the region, uh, anywhere between about three to five miles, uh, 10 for those of you in the OMAC area. Now, as we take a look at our live radar and satellite, you can see pretty quiet conditions in our particular region right now, but we do have some active weather headed our way, expecting to see that uh, move through the region by about noon this afternoon. As we take a look at our forecast radar, you can see that widespread activity moving through Winthrop, OMAC, Republic. You are looking to pick up a few more inches of snow by Wednesday. Something to keep in mind. Uh, we are going to see that for rain here in the Spokane area as temperatures climb into those upper 30s. All right, Emily, thank you. Governor Jay Inslee recently released his newly proposed transportation budget for the next 16 years. Yeah, what's in and not in that proposed budget has some people upset, including Greater Spokane Incorporated, the region's business development organization. Governor Inslee's transportation budget does not show any funding for the North-South Freeway for the next four years. That means it could take six or more years for construction to finish. The freeway construction project first broke ground in 2001. Greater Spokane Incorporated says this delay has members worried about business growth. When it comes to getting people to and from work, when it comes to getting freight mobility, when it comes to getting goods and services to our businesses, and especially to our larger manufacturers in the area, this is gonna be a critical link for all of those communities. So far about five and a half miles of the corridor have been completed. Another two mile section is set to open this fall. Well, tackling violence at home and in the workplace, that's the reason Providence is giving $100,000 to the Spokane Regional Domestic Violence Coalition. People already talk about this issue in the workplace, but those conversations may not lead to change. That's why the Domestic Violence Coalition wants to arm employers with tools to help. And thanks to new funding, training is on the way to keep people safe. With those rates, we understand that this is an opportunity for employers to really step in to start to be able to recognize some of the signs that abuse may be happening in their employees' lives. From restaurants to daycares, any business can sign up for these new tools. The DV Business Toolkit can be virtual or in person. Well, children struggling with obesity should be evaluated and treated early and aggressively, including with medications for kids as young as 12 and surgery for those as young as 13. And that is according to new guidelines just released by the American Academy of Pediatrics. For the first time, the American Academy of Pediatrics guidance sets 
ages at which kids and teens should be offered medical treatments such as drugs and surgery, in addition to intensive diet, exercise, and other behavior and lifestyle interventions. In general, doctors should offer adolescents 12 and older who have obesity access to appropriate drugs and teens 13 and older with severe obesity referrals for weight loss surgery, though situations may vary. Tens of thousands of people around the country are now in dry January, meaning they are not allowing themselves any alcohol. Yeah, research, researchers say there's evidence that cutting out alcohol, even just for a month, can have benefits that last well into the new year. The Washington Post reported on one study found in BMJ Open, which found people who stopped drinking for a month saw significantly improved metabolism. Those people also shed about four and a half pounds, had lower blood pressure, and a substantial reduction of levels of insulin resistance. Researchers also found that months later, people who didn't drink in January were drinking less alcohol in general as compared to people who did not participate. All right. Good, good luck. Yes. Good morning, Northwest <laughs> Times. It's now 635. Emily is here uh, back in for Mark this morning. And uh, what do we got? What looks like a wet day. Yes, uh, fortunately we've got a dry start to the day as we're all heading off to work. We don't need to worry about the rain, but it is going to move in around noon this afternoon, continuing through this late afternoon and into the evening. As for this morning though, take a look at that fog. You're going to, going to want to give yourself a little bit of extra time as you're headed out the door. And winter has us indoors with the windows closed and the heat on, but how safe is the air you're breathing in your own home? What you need to know to keep you and your family healthy right after this break. For news now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Lookout Pass has doubled with 500 more acres, 14 new trails, and a second quad lift. We still have the best powder and we're still the most affordable. As low as $52 for adults and $42 for youth. Visit skilookout.com for more. Well, looks like our surgery patient is feeling better today. Yep, I didn't need any oxy today. I thought I'd do a little surgery on the drain. Huh. Do you need your pain pills anymore? No. Well, we should get them out of the house. There are places to drop them off. Yeah, okay. Actually, I can do that right now. And I will look at the drain. Prevent opioid misuse. Find safe medication return options near you at med-project.org. Hi, I'm Randy, owner of Ruder 911 Sewer and Drain. Sewer and Drain cleaning at half the price of the larger competitors. 24-7 service for all of your sewer and drain cleaning needs in Spokane, 535-3136. We all have to-do lists that can be a mile long, especially when we're short on time. Come to Corona Furniture during our January clearance sale and check some items off. Do you need to find the best place to binge that show or finally read that book? Check. The perfect venue for family game night. Check. While you are here, check out our great selection on everything from bedroom sets to coffee tables, all at low January clearance sale prices. Great selection and low prices. Check. Kerner Furniture's January clearance sale. Going on now. I'm Mark Peterson, the extreme team in Horizon Credit Union, ready to take on the next task. If you know of a project that needs an extreme team makeover, go to KXOI.com to nominate it. For News Now Extreme Team, brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. Every winter, harmful road chemicals, gravel, slush, will attack your vehicle. You will have body damage. At Car Wash Plaza, we feature the region's best complete touchless system. It cleans your entire vehicle, removing built-up grime and magnesium chloride chemicals. We understand your vehicle is a major investment. Let's work together to maintain its looks and value. Car Wash Plaza, it's the best in the Northwest. Lookout Pass has doubled. 500 more acres, 14 new trails, and a second quad lift. We still have the best powder, and we're still the most affordable. On Bring a Friend Thursdays at Lookout Pass, get two full-day lift tickets for just 75 bucks. Visit SkiLookout.com. All right, welcome back across the country. Winter weather already having a huge impact. And chilly temps outside means more cozy days inside. But poor air quality in your home can impact your health, sometimes even increasing your risk of things like heart disease, cancer, and more. ABC's Alexis Christophorus offers some steps you can take to keep your indoor air clean this winter. The weather outside is frightful, but the fire inside could be problematic too. 
According to the American Lung Association, exposure to burning wood can cause respiratory problems and increase your cancer risk. And that's not the only air pollutant in your home that can adversely affect your health. As you spend more days inside this winter, consider taking steps to improve the air quality in your home. You can start with your fireplace. Try not to use it too much. If you're going to use a fireplace, make sure that you have the flue cleaned, that there is a screen across your fireplace. If you can afford it, consider getting an EPA certified insert for your fireplace. Right now, there is a federal tax break of 30% on the purchase and installation of the units. Gas stoves can also release pollutants such as nitrogen oxides. So use your vent use an exhaust fan or just open a window and block that kitchen or living room smoke from entering your bedroom where you can spend hours every night by keeping bedroom doors closed if you can deal with it uh, you can keep your pets out and so whatever is on their fur won't get on your bedding and won't be in the air in addition to dusting and vacuuming once a week to combat allergens and dust use an air purifier look for vacuums and air purifiers that have an effective HEPA filter consumer reports has ratings on air purifiers and what uh, studies have found is that the effective ones can take out as much as half of all the bad particulates in the air which can affect people's health. And to prevent mold growth that can cause asthma and allergy flare-ups, clean bathrooms, kitchens, and basements regularly. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York. And four things to know for your Monday. We do have slick surfaces this morning, a dry start to the, the day, but then rain moving in this afternoon. And for the northern valleys, you are looking at a snow and a rain-snow mix. Good morning, Northwest time is 641. All right, healthy living in the new year. We'll check back in with Destiny Richards, talking about the benefits of that Mediterranean diet coming up. Also ahead, Seattle Public Schools go after tech giants, suing them for the harm their platforms are having on children and their mental health. Download the 4 News Now app today. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. Alcoholism and drug addiction are very treatable with evidence-based therapies. Colonial Clinic, a Spokane outpatient treatment center, can start patients in treatment the same day they call. We've been solving addiction problems for individuals and their families for over three decades. Through close group therapy, clients advance together with their common experiences toward a healthy lifestyle. We offer addiction treatment, mental health counseling, and now medication-assisted therapy for those who need it. Call for a free consultation. Colonial Clinic. Call today. Start treatment tomorrow. Taxes aren't free, but your furnace could be. This holiday season, when you purchase a Daikin air conditioning unit, you'll receive a Daikin furnace free. That's right, free. Let us keep you and your family comfortable all year round. Contact Mainstream today. At Colville Toyota, the pups are always sniffing out a deal that works best for you. Plus, our entire team is customer focused. If you want a hassle-free, simple, easy, enjoyable, and quick customer service, take a scenic drive to Colville Toyota. We're customer-centered and here to help you with the new Toyota car, SUV, truck, and our mix of certified and used vehicles. Colville Toyota, where it's easy to buy, easy to do business with. We're your small-town dealership with the big heart. Ain't too proud to play. The Grammy-winning songs. The Tony-winning moves. Ain't too proud. The life and times of the Temptations. Come in January 17th through 22nd. Tickets on sale now. Is one casino really any better than the next? Well, at Northern Quest, we've got the largest gaming floor in the region. Not to mention the Thanks. most slot Fair titles, much. the most payouts, Ooh. the largest selection of table games, the lowest minimum bets, the highest maximum bets, and a state-of-the-art sports book. So you tell us. Northern Quest, yes, the best. Don't miss our $50,000 Cool Cash Hot Seats giveaway, January 12th and 26th. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Shopco Optical welcomes more insurance plans than ever. Call to book an exam and verify coverage. 4 News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. 
It's now 644. With a new year comes new diet goals for some of us, and the Mediterranean diet is being touted as the best one to try. Whether you have weight loss goals or just want to eat healthier, the Mediterranean diet can get you there with a wide range of foods. Destiny Richards is live with a local dietitian walking us through what goes into this type of diet. Yes, yeah, so if you've been following us all morning, we have been making something that follows into that diet. Sweet potato salmon cakes, and they are finally done and so beautiful and golden brown. We're here with Monica with Eat, Move, Thrive. Tell us about the kale salad that we're pairing now with these cakes and how that also kind of balances everything out. Right. So we've talked about the salmon cakes. Now, a big part of the Mediterranean diet is a heavy focus on plants, and that is fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So I've got a kale salad here with some fresh blueberries and dried cranberries and a little bit of feta cheese. So this, these are all aspects of the Mediterranean diet. Um, naturally, vegetables are going to have a lot of fiber and mm -hmm. anti-inflammatory properties. So this is a big part of why the Mediterranean diet is so good on reducing our risk for disease as well. Yeah, and for those who have, you know, goals to change their eating habits this year, what are some ways to not fault yourself for falling back on it or messing up and kind of having grace with yourself as you pursue those goals? I think that's really important because uh, we have to be realistic with what we're able to do with our nutrition and what how that fits into our lifestyle. And um, from my experience working with people 15 years as a dietitian, mm -hmm. um, a lot of the success comes down to just being giving yourself a lot of grace and knowing that um, this is a way of eating 80, 90% of the time that also leaves a little wiggle room for um, occasional treats and all the other food that may not technically fall into this diet. But mm -hmm. um, I think being really compassionate with yourself and just knowing that we're all human. Um, even dietitians eat the chocolate and the wine and all the fun stuff too. <laughs> yes, nice. I was just talking about frozen pizza being my vice. <laughs> There's a time and a place. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for opening your kitchen to us and preparing this delicious meal. We have uh, some more information about the Mediterranean diet on our website, kxy.com. Just find that story. Monica shared some links with me that I put in there as well. And go ahead and try making this for you and your family at home to get yourself started for the new year. That looks delicious. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. I'm going to look up that recipe I, right I, now. I'm actually just typing oh, one to funny. Destiny to ask her for that recipe. Yeah. To try. All right. Uh, transitioning into weather now. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, we've been talking all morning about this, this fog and the slick roads. Yeah, it's not great out there. <laughs> no, the silver lining to all of that is that we at least have dry conditions for the first half of our day. We are going to be getting into a little bit of a rain-snow mix into this afternoon. As we take a look and you're heading out the road or heading out to work, that is, uh, you do want to give yourself a little bit of extra time because of the fog and the slick roads. By 9, 9 a.m., we're getting into a little bit of that sunshine, and we're up to 32 degrees uh, highs this afternoon, upper 30s and lower 40s. That's 41 for this afternoon, both of those of you in Grand Coulee and Ritzville. For the next 12 hours, in terms of how we get uh, up into those upper 30s here in Spokane, we're at 38 degrees by 3 p.m., and we do have that rain moving throughout the region. So we take a look at the forecast radar you can see widespread by about 11 a.m. Uh, moving out this evening and then we're clear for Tuesday and Wednesday um, but we do have rain returning later on this week. We will take a closer look at all of that coming up in just a little bit. Emily, Emily, thanks so much. Thanks. Yeah. In news around the Northwest this morning, the public school district in Seattle has filed a novel lawsuit against the tech giants behind TikTok Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Snapchat seeking to hold them accountable for the mental health crisis among youth. The lawsuit filed by Seattle Public Schools says the social media companies have created a public nuisance by targeting their products to children. It blames them for worsening mental health and behavioral disorders. In news around the nation, a walkout by more than 7,000 nurses at two major New York City hospitals began this morning when talks aimed at averting a strike broke down overnight. Tentative deals have been reached in recent days covering nurses at several hospitals, including two new agreements late yesterday evening. But talks with Mount Sinai Hospital in Manhattan and three related locations in the Bronx have been or have failed. New York City's mayor says the city has a situation room standing ready and advised people to only call 911 if they truly need emergency care. 
Two snowmobilers were buried and killed in an avalanche in Colorado this weekend. One of the victims, a 58-year-old man, was found by another group on the mountain. They tried performing CPR on him, but he was pronounced dead at the scene. Emergency search teams found the body of a second victim, a 52-year-old man from northern Colorado, on Sunday. Good morning, Northwest Time is now just about 10 minutes before the hour. All right, we thank you so much for waking up with Good Morning Northwest here on your Monday morning. We'll have that morning sprint for you coming up right after the break. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Coeur d'Alene Nissan. Over the thousands of personal injury cases we've won for our clients, often the person who was injured hesitates to get a lawyer at first for fear of hurting the at-fault party. Don't wait to call Craig Swap & Associates. Craig Swap & Associates, one call, that's all. Magical moments. Snowy adventures. Warming up. Making memories. A winter wonderland. The perfect close-by getaway this winter is Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Find countless ways to play and plan your escape at cdawinter.com. It's time to make 2023 the best it can be by joining the number one voted gyms, Move Fitness. Whatever your New Year's resolutions are, we have the equipment, staff, and facilities to get the job done. Move Fitness. In therapy, there is promise. Each step forward is an achievement and a gift of hope. And at each hurdle, an encouraging hand. Joya, every child is limitless. The Spokane Ag Show returns to the Spokane Convention Center February 7th through the 9th. This exciting three-day event features ag industry vendors, recertification courses, and informative seminars. Returning speakers include weatherman Art Douglas and WSU ag economist Randy Fortenberry. Park free at the Spokane Arena with free shuttle buses to and from the Convention Center. Visit agshow.org for detailed information and online ticket purchase. Meet, learn, and grow at the 2023 Spokane Ag Show. Looking for quality and experience? Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic has been providing personalized care to their clients for over 30 years. Full dentures, implant attachments, repairs, fittings, adjustments, they do it all. With competitive costs and quality service, you'll leave Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic smiling. Happy Take and Bake Tuesday! Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $12, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. <sighs> We might have too many favorites. Do you guys have a favorite child? I have a favorite son. It's me, right? At Papa Murphy's, we make great pizza, so you can make the pizza great. Order now at papamurphys.com. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Spread is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. All right, it is 6.52. Time to get you ready for your Monday here with the Morning Spread. Destiny Richards is live with a local dietitian talking about the Mediterranean diet. But first, let's get right to Emily Bloom, who's in for Mark Peterson, with news of them, the slick surfaces and areas of fog this morning. Definitely want to give yourself a little bit of time as you're heading out the door and heading to work or wherever, wherever it is you may be going this morning because of those slick roads and the fog out there. We have a dry start to the, the day, but afternoon rain moving in. That is going to be snow for those of you in the northern valleys and higher elevations. All right. Emily, thank you. Civil authorities issued a shelter-in-place warning yesterday evening for an ammonia leak in Okanagan County. That warning is now lifted, but residents were asked to close all doors, windows, and vents and told not to go outside while that leak was being contained. Exposure to high concentrations of ammonia can cause immediate irritation to the eyes, nose, throat, and lungs. The alert for Okanagan lasted through 11 o'clock last night. And we don't yet know what caused that leak, but we will keep you updated as we learn more. So check back with KXLY.com. The Shoshone County Sheriff's Office is investigating three separate deaths that happened Saturday. Deputies found an elderly woman dead in her home in the Big Creek area. Then an unidentified person was found dead in a camper which caught fire in the Kingston area. Then in the rugged terrain area of Southeast Smelterville, an adult man was found. 
This was in response to an attempt to locate on a prior welfare check. Sheriff's deputies spent nine hours hiking in and out of that location before the person was found. No names are being released at this time. President Joe Biden is in Mexico City today where he'll take part in the North American Leaders Summit. He's expected to discuss immigration matters with the leaders of Mexico and Canada. This comes as the administration wrestles with a constant influx of migrants, which is overwhelming federal and local resources. Homeland Security officials say the number of migrants trying to get into the U.S. has gone from 2,500 a day in December to fewer than 700. But members of both parties say this is a problem that needs to be dealt with sooner rather than later. A bipartisan group of eight senators are visiting the southern border today and tomorrow to get a first-hand look at the situation. After a historic 15 rounds of voting and four days of ballots, the U.S. House finally has a new speaker. Early Saturday, Congressman Kevin McCarthy secured enough Republican support to become House Speaker. He received 216 votes with six Republicans voting present. His success led to a standing ovation from fellow GOP lawmakers, as well as hugs and requests for him to sign their vote cards. Saturday's vote ends a chaotic week that saw 14 failed attempts to get 218 GOP lawmakers to coalesce around McCarthy's bid for the gavel. Well, students are returning to the University of Idaho campus for the first time since an arrest was made in the murder of four of their classmates. Students and parents alike say they feel a sense of security now the police have a suspect in custody for November's killings of the four students at an off-campus apartment. As students unpack their personal belongings, the school is also promising new security measures, including more officers on campus and increased police patrols in the neighborhoods near the university. That man, Brian Kohlberger, is the man accused of killing those four students. He's pleaded not guilty and is due back in court on Thursday. This morning we have been live talking all about the Mediterranean diet. U.S. News and World Report voted it the best diet to follow for 2023 and we have been live this morning making a recipe that follows that diet with local dietitian Monica with Eat Move Thrive. You can go to our website kxy.com for more information about the diet, the health benefits and why it's so easy to follow. That again is on our website kxy.com. Children struggling with obesity should be evaluated and treated early and aggressively, including medications for kids as young as 12 and surgery for those as young as 13. That's according to new guidelines released today by the American Academy of Pediatrics. For the first time, the Academy's guidance sets ages at which kids and teens should be offered medical treatments like drugs and surgery, in addition to intensive diet, exercise, and other behavior and lifestyle interventions. Providence Hospital is giving $100,000 to the Domestic Violence Coalition. People already talk about the issue in the workplace, but those conversations may not lead to change. The Spokane Regional Domestic Violence Coalition wants to arm employers with tools to help. Thanks to new funding, training is on the way to keep people safe. And the Mega Millions jackpot has jumped to more than $1 billion after Friday night's drawing ended without an overall winner. This marks the fourth time in a little more than four years the top prize has exceeded a $1 billion. The jackpot is now estimated at $1.1 billion, according to the lottery. That's almost $600 million in the take-home lump sum. Oh, good to know. If someone wins at that amount, it would be the third largest jackpot in Mega Millions history. Next drawing will be tomorrow. We'll get a final check of the weather with Emily next. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. There are many different ways that Numerica gives back. Financial education is my way of giving back to the community by being able to help members in branch and getting the opportunity to go out into schools and teach kids about how to put themselves in a better position financially. Weather alert days on 4 News Now. That means weather that could be a threat to your family's safety. The first alert weather team pinpoints the most impactful and dangerous days, warning you early on air and online. Weather alert days, another way we're keeping you safe on 4 News Now. 
Just like your car needs regular maintenance and oil changes, so does your home's heating and cooling systems. Bill's Heating and Air has assembled a large group of highly skilled service technicians just for this. Servicing the greater Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area will maintain your equipment to ensure performance and efficiency, not to mention increase the life of your system. With the number of technicians available, we can meet your emergency outages within 24 hours. Bill's Heating and Air, the home of the $59 service call. Call now and schedule your maintenance or service needs. We have some areas of dense fog and slick areas out there as well. You're going to want to take that in mind as you are heading out the door. A dry start to the day, but we do have rain moving in this afternoon and many more chances in the week ahead. Along with that, temps in the upper 30s and lower 40s, 45 on Friday. There you have it. 45 on Friday. You said that is your threshold for shorts. 45 degrees. <laughs> if it goes, yeah, we'll, we'll see if I'm out there. Mine is like. 68. <laughs> Marks is like 95, <laughs> yes, right? So yeah. everybody's right. got their. <laughs> we do. <laughs> oh boy, that's going to do it for us right now. We have lots more coming your way throughout the morning, though. All right, yeah, GMA is next, and we'll have updates throughout.